You enjoying the books there? I haven't read them before. I... I've... had a pleasant experience so far. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of different topics there. I mean, I, it's just some things I collected over the years, that's all. I'm lucky to have understood the, the language. Oh, that's right, that's right. Some of the things might be in different tongues. It's fine. I... It's easy to transcribe them. It's more of a stepping stool. Ah, okay, okay. Wonderful. Well, you're more than welcome to use all of the books here, Cake, to your delight. Is someone ringing? Huh? Someone ringing the bell? Are they? Hold on. Give me a second. Let me head downstairs real quick. It's so... Maybe it is late. I thought it was very early. Let's see here. Mm hmm. He's crimsy right now. Anyone here? I'm guessing not. No one's at the bar. Uh. I heard someone ringing the bell. Oh, I know exactly. Sorry, I, I forgot to mention. Essentially, I gave Canis one of our bells, so he's probably just ringing it down. Uh, let me oh. let me call for him one moment. Canis, huh? get down to the main floor, please. Okay. Yeah, that's just how it works. Who's who's Canis? Oh, it's one of our new employees. You'll 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 come to love him. Just take a minute. What the hell is that? Grimsley. We have there's a problem here. Oh, it's here. Anyways. It is! Oh, I'm coming! Oh! <gasps> Ah, uh, uh, there is the young lad. Hi! You didn't tell me we had guests! Ah, uh, this is one of our newest employees. Whoa! Hi, I'm Kanos. Greetings. Have you tried these? They're amazing. I heard you bringing them. Yeah, they're really cool. Yes, uh, yes. Anyways, uh, Cake here is going to be assisting with helping us out in the establishment, of course. Yay! Except I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, he already cleaned it up. All right, there you go. I was just seeing is this things. For me? Yeah, go ahead, it's yours. Yeah! Oh, where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh, I have it! Yay! I would assume that you do if you grabbed it. Yeah, it's mine now. Alright. Anyways, how was everyone's uh, day today? It was good. I bounced on my bed a bunch of times and then I fell and then I bruised my leg, but it's fine because I'm cool. I'm sorry? <laughs> You're hearing things. Oh, my bad. I must have misheard quite a bit. You look awesome. Huh? I just see someone walking. <laughs> oh, there are people here. Hold on. Oh! <gasps> Nibby! Hold on. Are they pretty nice? Hello! Oh, hello, hello. How are we today? Well, you know. Good. And who might this one be? 
Oh, my name's Londol. I'm kind of just um, checking it out right now, seeing how everything uh, everything looks around here. Oh, so you're... Nimsy invited a couple... Go ahead. Uh, Nimsy invited a couple others to come and hang out. Oh. And this is one of them. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let me come over and Hi, introduce Nimsy. myself. Hi, Nimsy! Hi, Kanis! Hi! Kanis, you are too big to jump on the tables. Please remember to stay off them. Anyways, my name is Erebus Chernabog, owner of Chernabog Casino and Emporium and Mayor of the Maw. Hmm, very nice. Quite a few titles there, huh? Just a few. I try my best. Yeah. Anyways, I can show you around the casino if you like. Um, yeah, sure, sure. I'd love to see it. Of course. Uh, this is Canis, one of our employees. Hi! Uh, hello, nice to meet hi, you. Hi, 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 hi. Who's this? Londol. This is Nimsy's friend. Londol! Whoa, it reminds me of Soma. What? Who? You know. <laughs> like Soma. The season. The season! Awesome. Oh. Cool. Um, this is Grimsley. He's my esteemed butler and assistant to all the operations here. Wow. Is he, um... <laughs> making anything fancy back there? I'm bacon. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Bacon, bacon. And this is... <gasps> bacon. This is one of our good friends, Cake. Greetings. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Not very talkative. <laughs> I suppose no. not. Um, anyways, I'll show you around, Londel. Uh, so, this is the main floor of our great casino. We have slot machines this way. Have our different roulette tables here. You already very saw good. the bar. Um, this is our stage. And then also, where is he? Oh, this is my the other assistant that is a, a, a part of everything oh, here. Wow, a handsome fella. He is. Very His name nice. is Humphrey, and he is my noble steed. Oh yeah, you take him around sometimes? Oh, of course I do. I like to patrol on a on a crisp morning, giving him his walk. Of course, of course. <laughs> and I'm assuming you feed him the best, the best of carrots, right? Because such a such a lovely fella. He deserves the best. Of course he does. Look, I mean, there's his little plate here with, with, with delicious food. Wow. That's pretty that nice. Gold. Huh? Is that like a golden carrot? Yeah, so you can find them around. Jeez, that's expensive. No, it is expensive. It's tough being rich sometimes. I mean, like, yeah, being being rich, that's a, that it's, sucks. It's I mean, if you, you've ever got too much money off you, you know. Handouts. What do you mean, very handouts? Very, just handouts. They're very nice to get. <gasps> Try it. Canis! What? Not, are you not. are you snorting? No! Okay, wonderful. Um, I don't give handouts. I simply employ people, that's all. Mm -hmm. These are blackjack tables, by the way. Oh, very nice. Tell me, is there a reason you ask? Well, you know, I just, you know, I'm new here. I'm not particularly, um, uh, the most wealthy of person right now. You know, I'm just saying, uh, money is not something that I would, uh, uh, say no to. So if you need, like, employment, if you need to employ someone. Oh! Yes, yeah, so you've got a vouch. you got a vouch. Grimsy, they're looking for employment. Wonderful. What are some of your skills? Uh, I'm small, and I'm fast, uh -huh. and I can steal things, steal lots of things. Oh, so you're just straight up perfectly fine with thievery. Yeah, totally fine. I mean, like, if they don't have it locked down, then it's retaking. And what prevents you from potentially stealing from me? Money. If you give me more money than what I could steal, then I'm down. Hmm. Maybe and they say they're very trustworthy. True. True. And if yeah, that's... You can, you can trust me. 
I mean, I have to get to know you a little bit more to make that type of, you know, judge of character, but having someone that can slip in and out is always nice and handy. Uh, especially when you're, you know, say someone steals something from you and you have to get it back. Because we've had, unfortunately, quite a few robberies by some horrible, nasty people. Oh. What? Sounds horrible. I mean, if you want me, I could definitely go and get something back for you if you need me to. I don't think they stole anything yet, but uh, you probably weren't here, Nimsy, but uh, we got broken into the other day. Yeah. Sorry. Um, accurate. <laughs> accurate reaction. So, essentially, we had, unfortunately, a wanted criminal that was trying to enter my casino and break into my vaults. Do you guys not have any security here? We do. It seems like they tunneled in. Mm. I know. Huh? Ah. Give it to I think it is, um... That doesn't sound like something they'd be able to do themselves. Oh, it wasn't. And it was, uh, this, the able individual mm -hmm. that you've been seeing around. The person from the wanted poster, right? Exactly. Um, she was being charged with high treason and escaped her, her sentence. And now is out there somewhere. We don't really know where. And then breaks into my place, causes a huge ruckus, and then we also learn that they've been under false aliases and tried hurting one of our mod uh, citizens. Hmm. He heard about that. Sounds like a horrible person. Precisely. And I'm why did I defend her in court? What the hell? I don't know. Why did you? I don't know. Money, probably. She didn't oh, even that, pay me. I can respect that. Okay, that I can't respect, though. She didn't pay you. She didn't pay me. Even worse. What a scoundrel. Exactly. Agreed. But altogether, we also found out that she was being assisted by one named Atlas and another named Mr. Evergreen. Atlas. Let's just say the person was going again by a false alias. And the person behind Mr. Evergreen might be another person we tried during the court case. Clark? Who? Clark! No, not Claude. The other other one. Anthony? Yep. He would have liked to appear anything from any of those three, but no. Well, it's not. they probably just don't view you as good enough friend to do so. I mean, they all have their own little causes now, I suppose. Mm. See, this is why Nimsy invited you. Nimsy oh. knows you more than anyone yeah. else. Of course, of course. And trust me, Nimsy. Mm. We're gonna, we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out. It's gonna be lovely. The whole thing is just so awful to hear about, just... There's causes to even try and bring down the Ma itself. Mm, and he doesn't like that. I don't either. Oh, hearing reports of this a group that's doing so. Which is why I'm going to be getting some more people to assist me, and also having to institute a... Necessary action for the Ma's safety. Well, you got Nimsy's help if you need it. Of course. I will look forward to that. And, uh, as for you, Londel, I believe that we can make things work out quite well. After all, you're... You're a person that enjoys the riches, correct? I could... I could say that. Well... Should everything go well, and, you know, with a bit of loyalty and a bit of work, I believe that you could be living like, like a queen once all this is over. 
No, that doesn't sound too bad. Precisely. See, we have a great beneficial thing here at Chernabog Casino. I mean, look at Canis. He's never been healthier. Hmm? Am I? I think. Yeah. Canis is special, in case you didn't know that. I am. Very, very special. Um, um Mr. Chernabog. Yes. Uh, do you have any drinks behind the counter? I need to take my heartworm medication. Grimsley, can you please get Canis something? Very well, sir. Alright, follow Grimsley. Thank you! Like a feral creature, I will say that much. But, anyways, Londel, you got the job. Welcome to Casino Chinnabog. Thank you. Casino and Emporium. I mix up the Wonderful. words sometimes. It is, it's a pleasure to start working here. Thank you for having me. There's not a uniform, right? Am I good to just wear what I want? Yeah, you're good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I have the suit because I think I'm quite a, a, a snazzy in it. Of course, it makes you look very powerful. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. And did you get the thing for him? Of course, sir. Wonderful. Well, Londol, at any time, you'll feel free to, to come here. I can show you the top floors if you so desire. Oh, yes, I'd love to see them. I mean, this is such a tall building. I'd hate to miss out. All right, follow me, follow me. And as a part of the staff of Chernabog Casino, you get access to the VIP lounge. Just yes. Of course, of course, of course. I mean, Nimsy, I, I believe I can trust you after the assistance you've provided to keeping the Ma safe and sound. At this point, Nimsy's willing to throw a fireball. It's annoying. Nimsy's annoyed. Yeah. Anyways, this is our hotel part of the casino where people can have rooms to either stay at the Ma or to enjoy the casino festivities below. Um, over here is Grimsley's great armor and tools that he used. Some, uh, some fancy things here. Yeah, I mean, he killed a warden with his bare hands. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. He watched it. It was scary. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can imagine. Don't remember, though, Grimsley, was this your armor back in Northsdale, or what? I, too, am not mm. caught up. Too far back. Too far back, then. Too far back. Precisely. Too far back. Too many things happening. All right, come this way. We have uh, three floors for the hotel part of the of the establishment. All are nice and clean and taken care of. I'll show you one of them. I think this one is completely... Oh, that maybe not that one. All right, hold on. There we go. This is one of our standard rooms. Oh, like the full suite. You get to cook and everything. Precisely. Nice. You have a bathroom here. Oh, lovely. G give me, give me one sec. I I've been traveling a lot. Give me one second. Oh, uh, what? They had to move quite a long while to get here. Uh, I just didn't expect them to take a shit in the hotel room. I'm gonna have to get it clean now. Oh, don't worry. I flushed it. It's fine. Oh, uh, cool. Wonderful. Grimsley, we need that cleaned. Uh, anyways, uh, then we go to the third floor, and, uh, over here we have the elevator to the VIP lounge, which, feel free to come up. And this is where the special rooms are kept, as well as the exclusive bar. What makes it so exclusive? It's just that only us can come up here? Only VIPs and staff can use it. Wow. I mean, Sorry. I do have two of my employees staying here, Aran and Kanez. So we are starting to get a little bit full, but we also have two more VIP rooms. Could I uh, take a peek at those? Of course, we'll go up here because I don't know if I don't know if Aran is uh, sleeping or not. <laughs> Let's see here. This is like a little bit of a lounge with some books and just some nice things. Go over here. This is one of our VIP suites. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Here. This is, this is a nice tub. Oh my gosh. Exactly. All the 
All the essentials for one's comfort and enjoyment. You have a you have a place to stay in the mall or no? No, not currently. I mean, I was. I'm, this is my first day here. I'm just looking around, really. Well, a... if you need, we do have this VIP room available. If you need a place to stay free of charge. If you need. Right. Well, you know what? I'll consider it. I'll give. I'll give the the rest of the town a little look around, and then maybe. Uh, maybe I'll have a home. Wonderful, wonderful. And then this this uh, elevator goes up to uh, my suite and my wife's suite. I can't show you that, unfortunately, because I believe she's asleep at the moment. And the last thing you want to do is disturb the wife when she sleeps. Not a smart idea. I have a wife. I do have a wife, and I love her dearly. Her name is Chai. Don't make him go on. What do you mean, don't make me go on? The last time you talked about your wife, I was here for seven hours. Listen, I just appreciate how beautiful and wonderful that she is. Well, how did you meet her? Aww. Oh, no. Uh, well, I met her back in a little bit of a... Not necessarily nice terms. Um, unfortunately, she was being attacked by people. And she's a fungu, so mushroom people. And they were basically ripping off mushrooms from her. To try and horrible. sell. Exactly, it's horrible. Horrible, horrible thing. Um, and so I was managed to catch wind of it, and I was able to end the scoundrels right then and there, and to save her. And soon we just became an inseparable pair, and we we married. Um, uh, we we were my room. Anyways, we married for tax benefits, and then we we slowly and surely came to love each other. For who we are. Oh, oh, I'm the classic fall in love for tax benefits. You know, my parents had a similar story. At least oh. I think they did. Yeah, yeah. You know, they did great. Um, they're dead now, but you know, they were oh. they were a lovely couple when they were together. Is it with people losing their parents so much and absent and goodness gracious? Anyways, I mean, hmm? I was pretty sure it was just sickness with them, right? Oh yeah, no, it was nothing crazy. Yeah. It's still a horrible. They were nice. Yeah. It is wiser mushroom. I gave it to um, pastry. It 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 started growing. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Anyways, this is the casino. Feel free to hop by whenever you so desire. I do have to meet with all the employees soon for a staff meeting, but we'll have to arrange everything there. Um, mm. Just make sure that you're available, that's all. Of course, of course. But I'm forward I... to meeting uh, the rest of the staff. Of course, I believe Aegis is not around at the moment. Same with, I think Chai is just laying down, or she's going on some mission at the moment. But, uh, I mean, that's the majority of the team. Aran is... He, he does stuff sometimes, um, but you'll be able to meet them all in due time with and just uh, when we get everyone together. Unfortunately, it's just we have to pick a time and a day for everyone to meet. You know. Anyways, feel free to enjoy your day at the Ma. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to stop by. And say hello. Well, uh, it was lovely meeting y'all. And thank you again so much for the for the job. I'll, I'll get back to you on if I'll uh, take the VIP room up of there. Of course. Um, thank you, thank you. It was lovely of course. meeting you. Lovely meeting you too. Have a wonderful day. Oh, also, when do I start getting paid? Uh, when you work. That is when you get paid. All right, that sounds fair. Precisely. Have a good one. I'm going to go speak with uh, the others. And, uh, yeah, keep safe. Mm -hmm. Farewell! Farewell, farewell. Uh, let's see. Alright. Bye. Yeah, there they go. Ah, another person to join our cause. Isn't that lovely? Lovely. 
Anyways. Yay! Has there, is there been any news about our lovely friends that are in the desert by Jan? I haven't seen anyone. Nothing at all? or leave. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. And you've heard nothing else about maybe law to the others? No. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that we could get some news on them. From uh, what my wife's missions being is that I think Edmund has completely just gone off the hinges. No one's seen him. That's what I've heard. I don't think he's coming back. Did he die? No! Was not. Oh. He was one of the people that was robbing me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was able to iron things out with him. Because uh, it's not his fight that he needs to be a part of. Especially when his two closest friends dip on him at the single hand of some difficulty. He's a scheming. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who you mean now. Mm hmm? He was at the court case. He was at the court case, yeah. yeah. But the uh, whole thing was orchestrated by Abel, and then even one of my ex employees now, Atlas, trying to rob me. Who knows what? Real shame, really. Oh well, is what it is. Um, the next thing that's going to be happening in the mod, since uh, you you all should be made aware of, is that the mod is going to be undergoing some very rigid uh, new rules. If that makes any sense? With all the impersonation and deception that's been going on with different uh, aliases. I believe it's time that we have to enforce some form of identification. Which we will potentially need someone to help head that up. To find someone. But altogether, I'm going to be bringing in some guards to keep watch of the city. And you all will be issued a identification card that says who you are. And it's exclusive to you. Do not give it out to anyone else. Understood. I understand. I understand. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's, uh, unfortunately, a step we have to take. Now that Edmund, as well, has been taking some strange actions, to say the least. <laughs> what? It, it's fine. It's his... It's oh, it's his my wife! wife. <laughs> my wife's on it. Eccentric guests <laughs> Oh, this is this is Canis. This is one of our new employees. Sorry, I took my heart where medication it has side effects. <laughs> oh my. Hi there, darling. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Chai <gasps> Chernabok. It's lovely to meet you too. And then I didn't know your wife was so lovely. Oh, she's absolutely the best. I could go <laughs> on for hours. He he has. <laughs> Hello, Cake. It's nice to see you again. Hello. <laughs> Cake is also going to be joining us as well. Oh, I see. Um, That's some, lovely to hear. Some unfortunate things have taken place that have uh, very much upset Cake and me. Hmm. That's unfortunate. There's been some, uh, Threats against them. Oh, yeah, that's quite unsavory. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. If there's it's... anything I can do to help you, let me know. Thank you. It, it, <laughs> I got used to it. Oh, darling, that's not something you should get used to. It's how you learn to live. I see. It's rather unfortunate. Well, you won't be threatened here, at least. I'm grateful. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, lost it. But yes, just the whole thing has been... Uh, it's been just a whole big mess, essentially. But we have not even these two, but three new allies as well. There is, um... A, a, a little cat. Hello, the little calico. Yes, uh, she'll be joining us named Londel. Oh. Someone who can get in quick. Which is rather fascinating. That's great. So. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just troubled by something. Mm-hmm. Just, I'm troubled by this, this city in the desert. Uh, there's individuals uh... that have been running it. Yes, I'll be visiting that uh, desert area soon. Just making the preparations for it. Just makes me wonder what the hiding there is all. Why they um, want to keep it such a secret? I'm not sure. Maybe they're just rather protective about it, whatever it is. Hmm. You know nothing about it, Gabe. Well, Aegis already told you about the possible relic they were hiding. Mm. I mm -hmm. live quite literal meters away from it. But no one's gotten in to the chamber and no one has left it. And as you know, I don't really sleep, so... <sighs> Well, we have to retrieve that relic, or else it might start causing horrible effect. At the very least, no one has taken it, so... Hmm, hmm, of course. Miss my word of what would happen if a relic fell into the hands of someone like Power, or... Worse, someone like Abel. You could unleash some devastating forces on everyone. That is true. But... I think with Londel, that is going to be assisting us now with getting in quick, I believe that we can sort out a wonderful plan to get all this work. Mm -hmm. So, Cake, what I need you to do is when you're at strength next, I need you to kind of... Learn how to get to said area of Relic, and then pass that information along to the rest of us. And then, I think we can make a lovely plan of action. And I believe that is where we'll also put Canis up to the test, too. I'm being involved! Precisely, precisely. Yeah! <laughs> Because if we get Londel, Cake, Canis, and then we bring Aegis along, I think that could be a a wonderful force. And then perhaps, Chai, we could get you to sweet-talk all of them a little. Oh, I see. Well, I'll start making connections soon, then. Precisely. And uh, Grimsley and I and Aran will stay back here. Because I've been hearing some reports of where a relic could be. Mm -hmm. Something to do with the ocean is all. Oh. Don't know where or when, but something we'll have to work out. Again, if all these high treasonous dogs are coming in here trying to cause such problems in, in the maw and whatnot, we have to get them taken care of. And we have to get the relics before they do. If it involves the ocean, you may want to recruit someone used to the ocean. The Scardians. That might be a little bit more complicated, unfortunately. You see, the Scardians, from what I understand, do not appreciate what I do for them all in Absenton. And I believe they've been poisoned by others' perceptions of me. Well, 
so was Edmund. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Edmund also against you? Yes. You could just talk. It doesn't have to be one talk, but it could slowly over time. I could try. Not sure how much success there would be. There's that one Muscadian, the smaller green one. We haven't been around much. Could try talking to them. We could. We could indeed. I think, unfortunately, me trying to talk to some of the people is becoming a bit wary due to rumors that have been circulating about everything. Mm -hmm. So, if that's the case, I might have to get again someone that just knows how to win people over. I mean, that is your biggest strength, in my opinion. I mean, if you'd like me to talk to them, darling. I would appreciate it. <laughs> of course. See, the one... Uh, sorry. The one Thesuru is uh, not particularly keen on either of any of us, to be honest with you. Like, that probably pleasant un interactions with the Suru. Then perhaps... Yes, then perhaps that you would have better success in that whole thing. <laughs> but... That will have to be at another time. The priority is strength. We have to make sure that that accursed city does not rise to any form of power. Or they can threaten the Maw itself. Currently, only three people, aside from me, live there, two of which are natives. The biggest threat is power, or Uriah himself. Uriah? That's a horrible name! I... <laughs> can't really judge by name, but he did essentially be Aegis with one blow. Oh. Oh, fine. Grimsley. Yes, sir. It appears that we will need to take things a little bit more seriously if Aegis is getting defeated with such ease of force. The having... You have me do, sir. Believe that we should all bring everyone together that is a part of our joint company and plan out the next course of action on how to free strength from the grips of power. Very well, sir. Anyways, Cake, Canis, is there anything else that you'd like to report at this time? They're having um, a party soon. Party? I don't remember what it was for, but they're having a party to celebrate a wedding or something. Now I remember, Aegis was telling me this before, is that they're having a wedding to, I guess, Cypris and Uriah to try and renew some old bonds that they had from years prior. A Do we meaning get to crash a wedding? We will get to crash a wedding, Gaines. Yeah! After all, in wedding, it's till death do them part. And I yeah! plan to make sure that death does them far apart. <laughs> After all, if you marry someone, there has to be a reason behind doing so. Is that right, dear? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So. You can't just do it on a whim. That never works out. Since Uriah believes that it is his jurisdiction about what happens in the Maw and to ruin the customs and traditions of our people, then I believe that it is well owed to ruin the custom and the traditions that they have. Okay. 
Therefore, we must end threats to the people and to the ones that want to ruin this world for their own greedy benefits. Yes. Anyways, I believe that's it for now then. I will gather together all the employees and we shall all meet together and discuss what happens next. Is that good? That, that sounds good. Very well, very well. Then, Cake, Canis, you must excuse me. I'm going to speak with my wife for a moment in Grimsley. Oh, goodbye! All right, we'll head, we'll head to, the, to the staff room. You guys have fun. Bye-bye! Farewell! Hey, come this way, come this way. What an eccentric little scheme you found. Yes, and with a little bit of time, I do believe that we'll be able to... Mold them into something far greater. Well, they seem excited to join the cause anyway, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Mm -hmm. Just take a little bit of time, that's all. And uh, with Londal, I believe... <laughs> I actually believe she might be the key into getting this next relic. After all, we need someone that's small and knows their way around a little bit of thievery in order to... Get what we're looking for. We need our cat burglar, to say the least. Uh -huh. Very clever, sir. Mm -hmm. But I believe a full force might be necessary to go into strength to get gather all this. Which means I might also have to attend. <laughs> it is an unfortunate part of everything, but I'll have to do it nonetheless. Anyways, I need to start printing the identification papers for everyone. Um, we have to give them out to each person. Um, Chai, do you know where most people live? Yes, mainly I do. Well, if that's the case, I would need you to drop off some of, some of the identification to them so that they're fully aware of, you know, if they can come to the mall and we know who they are. Because past this point, we are going to be requesting that people identify themselves before entering. I'm getting tired of suspicious people walking in and out. Alright. Do you have anything to report, my love? Not currently. I'm still preparing to go to strength. It's pretty elusive, so I need to follow somebody. Which hmm. isn't too much trouble. Ah, oh, alright. I bet you could get Nimsy to do so. Yes, I'll ask Nimsy later. Nimsy, uh, if, what? I would suggest you be careful with Nimsy. They may seem idiot, innocent, but something feels off about them. What do you mean? I can't be sure, but I don't know why. Hmm. off. Interesting. Well, this is why we don't let Nimsy into the core parts of our plans, that's all. Is that she is simply a tool that we must use, and in the hand of a great wielder, can be used for lovely effects. I mean, it's the same thing with these Custos. We're not necessarily devolving what our plans are, but... Just a simple form of manipulation is good enough. Nimsy is often overlooked by the others. As long as we keep her in our good graces, I believe she's a very wonderful asset. Precisely. And the, the biggest flaw that the others have made about this whole thing is that they've... more or less ostracized many of their own and even people that they could have had as allies like Nimsy and Kate <laughs> they have become too close-minded and when those feelings those hurt feelings arise then we just swoop in and we offer better guidance that's all mm. 
it's quite entertaining to watch them destroy each other from the inside out. Precisely. And now Edmund's no longer taking up the cause. <laughs> well, he really has been screwed over many times. I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. Which is why I gave him... Perhaps I was a bit too generous, but regardless, I think it was effective. Was giving him a bit of a benefit of the doubt and letting him leave. I don't think he will return. Mm -mm, no. Especially when Atlas and Abel were just completely leaving him alone. They just fully abandoned him. I didn't see all of it. Mm. So, since that's the case, then we now have a powerful enemy out of the way. Who do they have left? Clot? A sentry? We could easily take care of that. Easy for us. We've survived all these years. Simple... Subject of force is what's required here. And then we'll be living how we should be. Not ones in terror. Not ones that are thrown in harm's way. At the end of this, we'll be living like kings and queens above men. It's, uh... <laughs> All right, that is all I have for now then. I need to start making these identification papers. I will be up in the the top penthouse. All right, darling. I think I'm gonna pay Nimsy a visit. Oh, of course, of course. Grimsley, if you could keep a lookout for the casino, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right. I must be heading up. Have a wonderful day, the two of you. <laughs> Love you, darling. Love you, too. Have a good day. You'll know where to find me. Yes, of course. Farewell. Good luck. <sighs> there goes my beautiful wife. You know, with this whole thing going down, and their entire force is crumbling from the inside and out. <laughs> and our strength only grows fiercer. Yes, I do believe that some things are in order. To try and... More or less, shift the tide, so to speak. After all, <laughs> the wedding will not prevail, and the only thing that will be held in holy matrimony is, of course, the bonding of their death. 